Forsaken, or as is more commonly known as the fourth skin. And this is the final Easter egg we have left to complete here in Cold War to catch ourselves up for the story in Zombies in preparation for BO6. And I know I've said this for the last few Easter eggs we've done, but I am not very confident in my ability to get this done without looking anything up. But we still haven't looked absolutely anything up for any of these easter eggs so far so i will try to continue that but this has got to be like my favorite spawn room here in cold war it having like the moon like spawn room where the spawns are all time based and not necessarily like how many kills you get in each round i think it does cap out at a certain point if you don't kill any zombies but i just like the the fast pacedness to this first room and the the music going and everything for it it's just a lot of fun. If I could change one thing, though, and you guys already know what I'm going to say, it would be to fix the truck spot. That was my favorite spot on this map where I grinded out a lot of my camos. And it was a lot of fun during the Halloween event sitting there and trying to farm jack-o'-lanterns. But I don't think we're ever going to see that again in Cold War, which is unfortunate because that was always like my favorite time of the year. We'd hop on here and do first room challenges just using the jack-o'-lanterns to get by. And it was always a good time. It was always a lot of fun to hop in and just, you know, mess around with all the nice rewards you can get from the jack-o'-lanterns but i don't think we're gonna get it back anytime soon and i hope that we do get something similar to it in bo6 but i'm thinking they probably won't have it right on launch because the game will be launching like a few days before halloween but you never know so i guess we'll see i think i'm gonna try to make it to like maybe round 15 here in the first room completely unnecessary but i just want to get a bunch of points here and just see if i can even make it that far but i don't want to get too ahead of myself because we still have to fight that abomination before heading into the pack-a-punch room and if I go ahead and like kneecap myself before we actually get in there and make it so I can't upgrade my weapon any further, then uh, it might be pretty hard to take that abomination out. But if the game decides that it wants to help me out a bit and gives me a double points, then I will just pop my Tesla Storm and then we'll go ahead and go through the portal. If not, we're staying here until like round 15. I guess while we're in here, we might as well make the most of it and try to get as much salvage as possible with our death perception. Ooh. Oh, I was about to say, I still got it with a nice little train there on the wall. I probably could have still made it through, but I panicked. Oh, and there's the double points we've been looking for. Perfect. Look at all these points we're getting. We're going to be at like close to 30k before we even make it into the first area. All right, well, might as well start up the teleporter and maybe we can still make it out of here alive. Uh oh. Ooh, and there we go. Our first down of the day. Serving it up Gary's way. But we're at 33k. And I'm spitting. So let's just grab some death perception again. Actually, do I have enough salvage already to buy a self revive? Should I even do it? Should I wait for a drop? Mm, let's just see. No, I'm going to buy one just to be safe. All right, let's go through. Now we can go ahead and grab the loose change from this. Might as well grab Jug while we're here. Oh, Krevchenko, my boy. Don't make me spawn another portal to get out of here. Now tell me, Krevchenko, how is your... Which one's your better eye or something like that? Tell me, Colonel. Which is your better eye? Uh, I said it basically verbatim. And I'm actually struggling to remember like the first step of this Easter egg. I know we got to go hit the button in the Pack-a-Punch area, but I don't know what to do after that. And I think this might be one of the only maps that I don't know how to get the Wonder Weapon for free on. I always spin the box or I go for uh, like the trial machine to see if I can get it that way. Oh, but we got to grab all these parts to open up the portal. Forgot about that. It's been a minute since I played Forsaken, actually. Oh, oh I forgot about the fleshlight part. Come on, they know what they're doing with this. What's up, Bubby? Oh, we got some nice hamburgers in here and a fryer. Uh-oh, I got no ammo. Give me that ammo, please. Thank you. Zombies, why don't you guys have a seat? Oh, and they dropped me a nice little token. Thank you. Let's hit these guys with a stun. Try to repair this. Needs repair. Bitch, what do you think I'm trying to do? Do I not have all the parts? Oh, I am missing one, aren't I? It's got to be somewhere in here. There it is. Give me. The Forsaken is the key. The Forsaken is the key. Shut up. Let's see if we can put this together before I get killed. Oh, barely. Did I finish building it? What? I swear I got done with it. Come on, game. Stop messing around. There we go. Now let me through. Ooh, and I remember trying to high round in this area and it actually being kind of tough. This does have like some of the fastest spawns in the game with like four spawners right here on top of just like two back there, but I could never really get too far in this spot. Wait, 
Kravchenko lied? You're telling me this Kravchenko guy is a liar? He seems like a pretty stand-up guy to me. And I forgot how nice this area looks over here. Just throwing purple in wherever they could. What is this, Ethereum? Element 115? Either way, as much as I like how this area looks, I'll never forgive them for taking away my Tony Hawk spot right here with PHT Slider. Just going way up and around. Absolutely criminal. And Peck, don't tell me to fuck off. Especially with your little baby abomination. I've taken on things 40 times this size. Oh, shit. I might need some ammo to do it. Now, where do you guys keep your ammo at? Just curious. Is it anywhere here? Oh, there is. It's just actually hilarious how small abominations look now. I used to think these things were such a big threat when they first came out. And, you know, they, they're still pretty tanky. They can still do a good amount of damage. But I really do not care about them anymore in terms of, like... Oh, this is a this is a big threat. This is gonna mess me up. They're just little babies. They're itty bitty. But now we should be able to head through the teleporter into our nice little safe room. And where's the button we gotta hit? Right here. Bam. Nope, that's not the right one. First, we have to lift lock down. Grab our loose change. Maybe get a little pack a punch while we're at it. Treat ourselves. Let's get pack two. Why not? And now we can hit the button. TikTok requiem. TikTok. Once again. You're too late. How do you know about that app, Peck? <gasps> it's Zykaev, Zykaev, or whatever. No. Z Zokov? I can't believe I forgot his name that hard. But man, I sure hope this guy doesn't take off his mask and he becomes a demon. Okay, his face is just glowing. That's fine. At least he's not a demon. And now he became a portal. Still all right. Oh. Now he's a demon, of course. Forty Earth years. Far dark aether centuries. He did all that and couldn't work on arms. Or actually, even legs. You completely skipped leg day. How are you just a torso? But it is kind of hard. He got trapped in the dark aether for 40 years. And what did he do? He's like, I'm gonna run this shit. Oh, Kravchenko. Slap pack silly, please. Funny thing about that, though, Forsaken, we have Maxis, and she's gonna fuck you up. You have to believe me. Please hit him. I didn't hit him. Realize he was the creature. You <laughs> the he just ragdolls over what kind of looked like a light slap. Kravchenko's just got that power behind him. And this is also hard as fuck. He didn't even flinch. Just one pistol out, started headshotting all the zombies while we're over here not caring. All right, Maxis. You Hold doing? him off. I'm gonna go dick around for like an hour and a half or something, so I hope you can withstand that. You tell him. I can hold him back for now, but please get to the town square. All right, Maxis, I'll try to remember how to do that. What the hell just happened in there? Uh, you didn't miss a whole lot, Rabinoff. Just a demon came out of the portal, and now Maxis is fighting it. You know, just a Tuesday, really. Now, I know we're going to need the Crystal Axe, which is also a very cool wonder weapon. Just wish it was a little bit stronger. But we're going to need the Crystal Axe to go ahead and break the three big crystals to get the smaller crystals and then put them together. But I want to see if I can figure out how to build the Crystal Axe on my own. I know we have to get one of the crystals from a Tempest or not a Tempest, a Tormentor and lighting it on fire. Another one's going to fall from the sky over here. I don't remember the last one, but I do remember basically every side Easter egg on this map. So let me go ahead and switch this to Aether Shroud. And once we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and deliver some pizzas because Maxis can hold out the Forsaken for as long as we need. Colonel, this isn't my fault. You get that right. It is is Peck and Kravchenko in different rooms or something? Why is he going like, Colonel, you know this is my fault, right? Over the radio. Or we just tapped into their comms. And look at this little guy. Actually, do not die, Abomination. I need you for something. Why don't you come on over here? We got to make our way back to the lab. And we're going to need him to run into a few things. Also, the whole lab is dark aether -fied. Why don't we do this on more maps, please? Come on over here, buddy. I just need you to run into this wall real quick. Shooting a laser, not really what I need you to do. But that's the spirit. I like the enthusiasm. Oh, there's two of you. I just need one of you guys to do it, but two works. Oh, I guess neither of you did it. Are you guys both fuck ups or what? Oh, wait, I forgot you can hold two Aether Shrouds in this game. That's sick. I've been playing Modern Warfare Zombies for too long. Oh, it did actually fall. Give me that. Now this over here is the high round room that I remember. This is the shit. We got 
Ronald Ray Gun in here and we can deliver his pizzas and maybe he'll give us the Crystal X or maybe the Ray Gun or probably we're, we're not really going to get anything from him. I think I've only gotten the Ray Gun from him maybe one time, a single time in all, all my days of doing this. So you better pay up if you know it's good for you, buddy. Let's make our first delivery right here. And what do I get for that? Oh, some salvage. I'll take it. Let's deliver our next pizza. This one goes to the fine couple over here. What do I get for that? Essence. Nice, dude. Next one goes in here in the bar. There you guys go. Enjoy. Payment for that. Some more salvage. And you better give me something good when I come back here, buddy. Last one goes to the people over here at Burger Town who rudely ordered pizza to a, a restaurant. What a slap in the face. All right, Ronald. Give me something good or it's your life. All right. You chose. Now you can switch our field grade back to Ring of Fire and see if we can maybe get the Wonder Weapon from the Dryzen Drac Machine. I remember like everyone was so hyped when we first saw like the theater billboard and it said Noctare and Toten coming soon. And everyone's like, oh, Noct remake. And we kind of got it. But then we saw the Dryzen Drac Machine and we're like, oh, we're going to be able to do all the, the dragon stuff or whatever. We literally just get thrown on the roof here forsaken with the outbreak event, which, you know, I'm not mad about, but it just kind of feels a little slapped together, you know? Could have been better, but I will take all of it back if you want to give me the crystal axe right here. We already got you full. You're, you're well fed over here, dragon. There you go. That's more than enough. You better give me a good reward, pal. Let's see what we got. Please. Oh, it's a legendary weapon. Not what we we're looking for. And we can go over here and knife this for another free token. And what other machines do we got over here? Let's do knocked. Now they give you a, an extremely limited amount of ammo and a limited amount of time to actually complete this. So I wonder if I should go for all headshots here at the start or if I should just try to knife the first few zombies or what? I don't remember the meta. I'm gonna try to knife them. Come on in. We'll just knife this first round and the rest of the rounds will shoot. But that should be the first round right there. Oh, wait, nope. One more. We're only at a minute 30 left. Now that's the first round. We get our reward. Didn't shoot a single bullet. Got some salvage for it. If we make it through this next one, we should get an M14. Or I guess the DMR in this. Let's hit only headies. Oh, already whiffed. I'm already whiffing hard. Please, somebody give me dead shot. That should be around, right? Yep. Give me the DMR. Thank you. And bring on the zombies. Bring out the dancing lobsters. We might have taken way too long on that first round. Oh, the actual round just ended. Weird. Peculiar. Uh-oh. And I think I just shot all my bullets. Yep, we're screwed. Okay, I tried to pace myself out, ended up panicking, and lost everything. But I think we should be able to make it out of here with the DMR. Yeah, I think it gives us DMR for free. I don't want it. It's, it's nice that they gave it to us. Something fell from the sky. It landed near Main Street. Oh, and there goes our, our meteor. I'm glad we got to see that. I guess let's defend it. Come on, I need one Tormentor to run into this ring of fire here. Maybe I should have waited. Oh, here comes one. Please die to the fire damage. Yes. Perfect. Gimme. Whoa, zombie standing on my head. What are you doing? There we go. Gimme. So I need one more piece. I don't know how to get it, though. I have not been listening to a word of what the Forsaken's been rambling about. But we are kind of flying through these rounds. Me staying in the first room probably did not help with that. But I want to try to avoid doing the boss fight at a high round. I have not done the boss fight in a while, so I don't know how well I'm going to do in it. I do remember that we need dead wire and we need to kill a zombie near one of the machines. So let's go ahead and grab dead wire real quick. There we go. Let's see if we can get that step of the Easter egg going. Pretty sure it's this one, the Grand Prix. Ooh, insta kill. That uh, is not good for us. Oh wait, yes it is. It still worked. Let's see if I can get this done though. I'm, I suck at driving these RCXDs. So let's activate it. And then we have to go this way out here. Oh, did I have to shoot something first? I don't remember. I think we can just go right into here. This will just open it, right? Yeah. We will drive into here if I can. There we go. And I don't know where to go from here. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Okay, we'll have to try that again. Unless that already deployed what we needed. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. We actually got a good amount of stuff here. I don't remember where we get the last neutralizer part either. And we're going nowhere in a hurry. I still don't remember where either of these parts are at. Actually, 
Hold on. Pretty sure we get one of them in front of the teleporter that we rebuilt at the beginning, which is right over here, right? Nope, on the other side. In in multiplayer, this one's annoying to do because you have to activate all these at the same time, but can we just do it on our own? Which is one. Yep, so let's just knock this out. And we're probably gonna need a ring of fire right here. This is a lot of zombies. And we're absolutely tearing through them. I love ring of fire. I hope it comes back as like an augment or something in BO6. It's just way too fun. I don't remember what we're supposed to be doing in the middle of this though. Just getting kills near all these tanks and filling them up. Is that it? Nothing specific I gotta do? Yeah, I think that's just it. I think we're good. Once all these dweebs are dead, we should have the step complete. There we go. All done. Give me that. How do we fill it up though? Oh, we need all the crystals for that. Okay, so we still just need to get the crystal axe then. How do I get the last part for it? I don't understand. But you know, the box is right here. Why don't it just give me the crystal axe? That would have been sick. Uh, let's try again. What we got? Oh, another M14. Really kind of the opposite of what I'm looking for, game. So why don't you try again? That was funny. Haha. <laughs> Good joke, game. Give me the crystal axe. Come on. Stop messing with me. Whatever, dude. Last chance. Last chance to look at me, Hector. Mr. Peaks. You dick. That's it. I'm starting up trials. We're going to have a backup plan in case I never figure out how to get that last piece. Let's start up. Kill zombies in location. Video store. You got it. Oh, wait. Is it a fire sale right now? I don't know. The box just happened to move right here. Okay. One spin before we go in. Come on. Nope. Oh, abomination. Glad you could join us here in our, our video store escapade. Actually, you know what would be really good right here? A cashmere. That's perfect for this. Already got it up to rare. Let's uh, keep it going. Already up to epic. Out of ammo, though. And a fire sale. Oh, please don't knock me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, and we already got it to legendary. I'm so good at this game. And crystal axe me game. That's not the crystal axe, but a fire sale. That'll help. At least they gave me a pack a punch gun out of it. That's nice. That's nice of them. But now we're going to get it from the box. Come on. Again. Dude. Please reward my dumbassness with a wonder weapon. Okay. Well, it would have been a wonder weapon 20 games ago. This one's it, though. I, I meant to say this one's it. Dude, this one's it right here. Come on! Back to the trusty old trial machine. Get multiple kills as quickly as possible. Hey, getting kills as quickly as possible is my middle name. You're going to wish you didn't give me this challenge game. It's going to be way too easy for me. It's got to do the good old run in a circle method and hit him with a nade. Already up to rare. Up to epic. I'm pretty sure that nuke don't count, but I'm tempted to hit it. But upgrade me to legendary now, please. Whatever. Or just give me the crystal axe out the box. Thank you. Dumb game anyways. I'm going to go through all this trouble of doing these trials and hitting the box just to find the crystal like immediately after. Kill zombies and beach pizza? You're asking the right guy. A fat portion of like my career kills in this game have happened in this room. Well, technically this room. But this ain't about technicalities. I'm already at legendary. And if we don't got it here, we can go back and continue the trial, please. Let's go, dude. Being dumb does have its uh, rewards or payoffs or, you know, Insert something clever here. Let's get a pack-a-punch just for funsies. And we might as well just do the rest of the trial. See if we can get a nice little reward at the end of it. And we can do it with our Crystal Axe. I have not used this Wonder Weapon in so long. It's so cool. I love that it has this mode and the little gun mode with it too. On top of being able to just like throw it down on the ground. Oh wait, no way. Oh, that's not the crystal we're looking for. I just got thrown for a loop. We just throw it on the ground like this, like a little Beyblade and stand in it. And then we're chilling. But I really thought those crystals dropping on the ground were the ones that we're looking for to build the crystal axe. But I'm pretty sure those just refill its ammo for when we have it in gun mode, which is also so sick. I said the Cerberus might be the coolest wonder weapon, but I think this actually might be a bit cooler, but the Cerberus is uh, cool and strong. So it gets points for that. Anyways, one more reward. Oh, an ammo mod. Let's use it on this. What are we gonna get instead? Cryo. Eh. All right, let's work on this. No, I don't know, Peck. And I don't want to know. Shut up. Shut your mouth. What are you doing, you insolent ingrate? Somebody picked up a, the, uh, the, the, the... The Saurus. Is that what it's called? Whatever. 
Fuck you, Krevchenko. What's the, the opposite word for that, huh? Now, you just need to destroy that crystal. Thanks for letting me know, Peck. Give me that. Oh, and it just so happened to spawn in an abomination for me. You want to eat this? Yeah. Eat up, son. Go. And then we kill him. We grab this. And we need two more of those. I love how the whole, like, abominations eating nades thing started with this. I mean, it had to have started here. This is the map that they first showed up in. But I love that it started as, like, an Easter egg step. And then in, like, Modern Warfare Zombies, you can just throw nades in their mouth and they just eat them. They're just like me for real. There we go. Broke all that. We should be able to slice this bad boy up now. Do you really think you can contain me? Uh, I know I can contain you, pal. You are not getting any routes ran on me. I've seen your route tree. All you know is nines. Ain't that difficult to stop. You ever heard of a too high safety forsaken? I bet you haven't. We just need one more. Last one should be just over here in the lab. Yep. We should try to hurry up and get the rest of these steps done before we hit round 30, because then this wonder weapon becomes kind of useless. Come on. There we go. Bring this bad boy out. Get the swinging. Spawn in that abomination, please. Oh, is this it? Energetic shard? Nope. I got fooled by it again. That's not what I need. It just looks different in this lighting. Yeah, I didn't even get the rock in his mouth. Why don't you open up, Abomination, so I can hawk two of that thing in there. That don't even make sense. I'm just shoehorning it in. Mm -hmm. Me with a perk? Obviously a zombie's perk, guys. You fucking drug addicts. That's all charged. Um, let me get a few perks as well while we're on the topic of perks. Let's get some speed cola, a little bit of mule kick, some tombstone just in case, and elemental pop. And I'm broke. I forgot that the perk cost increases with each perk you buy. Fucking inflation, dude. Is that all we need? Like, can we just go ahead and go into the boss fight now? Let's uh, craft a few things that might help us out. Let's get some cashmeres. Probably a death machine going to be better than using a chopper gunner indoors. I think we're good to go then. Pack two should be enough to let us get all the way through here. Hopefully. Let's craft this bad boy. New orders from the and let's get moving. New orders from the director. If we can't kill this thing, we should try to capture it using the containment chamber Omega built. Okay. The director will handle it from there. I'm sure we can trust the director. You think I will just let you take what is rightfully mine? The Forsaken is destined to bring about Soviet supremacy, ending your capitalist reign. Somebody's angry. What's going on? What are you doing? Colonel, they're breaking through. Colonel. You idiot. Watch who you're shooting. The gas line. Oh, oh my shoot. God. Are they? Dude, I hope so. Right. We need to I get hope moving. they're messed up. Grab Let's head on in. Let's go GLaDOS or, or Wheatley or whatever we're calling you. And also, while we're making our little trip to the boss fight arena here, I just want to say that after this Easter egg, I'm not going to be done with Cold War. I'm probably going to be playing it up until BO6 comes out. Because I want to try to do some high rounds. I, I still got to get up to a million kills in the in this game on my main account. And I want to do a few challenges like the trial machine only like round 100 or like high round attempt on uh, Firebase C. I think that would be fun. I've been itching to do some challenges in Cold War. But I'm still not sure why we need the whole neutralizer just to go through this little bit of like aether or whatever you want to call it. Couldn't we just like grab some stims and walk through? It's not doing that much damage. We would have been fine. It's not like in the, the town central or whatever. City hall, whatever we're calling it. It's not like that has like a whole Ethereum bubble over it. it seems like there's no Ethereum in it at all. And this whole part is like kind of uh, useless. Why do I need to keep going to all these crystals? You know, picking them up and refueling this neutralizer. What's the point of this thing if it sucks so bad? Like, can't I just push it? Because it's not like the portal's going away without fuel. It just won't move. Why don't I just like attach this to my back? Just walk my way through here. And I think we made it. Right? No, you're not going to go the extra inch. I have to go and get that crystal. All right, dude. There you go. Happy? Now you can go like four more feet and fall over. Night, night. <laughs> Let's do this. What's up, Forsaken? Oh, wait. I actually do remember this boss fight. This is pretty easy. We just need to fill up Maxis and not get borked by the forsaken come on over here zombies why don't you get into the, the maxis ring of fire come hang out over here oh and a fire sale what what a perfect thing to get over here 
What is that going to help? Now charge up that gun. Do you need to do it twice or is it just once? I don't remember. Oh, nope. It's, it's telling me I can use the laser cannon. Here we go. All right. You tell him, Maxis. Oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. So she was trying to tell me what I was doing was wrong. That I'm a fucking idiot. And I was messing up. I forgot we have to destroy his crystals first. And we got to get his shoulders. Won't let us get to his belly yet. Can these break, please? There we go. Let's actually just try to get them all broken. Oh, we got our ring of fire going. You ain't breaking nothing, buddy. You're getting broke. See you later, arm. I wish we could use one of these turrets like somewhere else too. I kind of want to see what this would do against like an abomination or whatever. Not just against his like little nubby arm. Oh, I'm getting froze. He's using his field upgrade on me and I'm almost out of ammo. Zombies, you mind dropping any please? I do not feel the chill winds, buddy. Do you feel this? Do you feel the chill winds of this? You dick. This is actually such an easy boss fight. I don't know what I was worried about. I completely forgot that it's just like, fill up ring of fire, shoot him with laser gun. Enough of what? Oh shit. You are so eager to stop me. Would you like to see how that story ends? Yeah, actually. Let me see. <gasps> no one escapes alive? <gasps> Weaver, Strauss, Gray, Carver. What happened? It is kind of cool that they did this and then, then they doubled down on it in MW3 Zombies. And Maxis said, that ain't happening. We're going to have alternate universes, alternate timelines. You can try, buddy. You ain't killing shit with them laser beams. Dude thinks he's Homelander. And I still have not found any ammo. I'm sure there's ammo somewhere on the map, but I don't know where. Oh, we already got that charged up. Eh, might as well use our death machine while we got it. Let's break open his little belly. There you go. And let's shoot him. This is about to be the worst stomach ulcer of your life. Is this it? Is he dead? Or do we still have to get him in the head? No, we still need to get his head. Let's light that up. Uh, at least we can't do it right now. Let's uh, try not to die by his little electric spiders. Let's throw a uh, cashmere under Maxis so we can still fill her up while we're doing this damage. Oh, wait. I still have more death machine to use. You can try to laser me all you want, pal. It ain't going to help. You're already done. Boss fight is over. I don't know if you noticed or not, but you're done. I actually have a ring of fire on the turret. You're extra done. Even more damage to you. See you later, alligator. The first room was harder than you. Now get in your Pokeball. Oh, shit. I forgot about this part. Do we have to do it all over again? Or he's going to hit us with a down? The fake out down, the guaranteed. Which is bullshit. It shouldn't count towards the stats. Let it be known that I only have one down right now. And that was from the first room. Getting and we're back up. Expanding around the globe. You Max has said, hell nah. Consume this world. Not as long as I am here. Sam, whatever you're thinking of doing, don't do it. I'm not a bad person, Weaver. I am a good soul. I think Eddie would disagree. I know what I have to do. I'm sorry. This is the only way. She's about to go right into his forsaken ussy. Forsooky. There's probably a better terminology I can use there. But he's actually nutting. We hit him right in the F spot. It's kind of like the G spot, but for the forsaken. But bye bye. Bye, noodle arms. See you later. Into the Pokeball you go. We'll find out what happens with you in uh, Liberty Balls. She's gone. Fucking idiot. Back into the dark ether. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Gray. You lost your mail order bride from the dark aether. But you guys will have a kid. You will birth a child. There's a wall buy in here? What? Why is there an FFAR in here? Is there another wall buy? How have I never noticed that before? Oh, 
and that's it. All outbreak zones collapsing globally. What was that? Was that fan art he had up there on his computer? I remember being so confused at the end of this. We're like, yeah, we got the Forsaken. I'm in charge here. You know what? Alex Mason. I caught him in a Pokeball. I am the greatest. The best there ever was. I caught him all. Got this shit delivered all the way to Liberty Falls. But then me and the whole crew are getting arrested. I don't know how Rabinoff got out of this squeaky clean though. Like, why is he not in jail? Because he stayed at the the facility because because raptor one got taken strauss got taken weaver gray carver literally everyone in requiem she is no longer a problem for project anus diverse strike team of black site 13 which is terminus actually what happened to the dog what's the dog's name they put the dog in cuffs too and i love how dr gray just goes along with it carver just goes along with it like the, obviously they're not happy about it but they're gonna go down with dignity and then they show strauss fighting like hell i know strauss is gonna be a monster he already is a monster but i know in like on his free time he's been just making trend in his lab and he's gonna be built but they caught me and racked or one lacking why do we got all the guns drawn on us though they know we're too strong yeah Get out of here, Weaver. I actually really fuck with Weaver. Wait a minute. This is the campaign level. This is KGB. Ugh. Reused assets? Lame. And then here's Eddie just smiling, looking at all the footage, even though that footage right there isn't even me in the top right. Can't believe this. But this last little look? Yeah, I was there the whole time. It's me, Eddie. You're probably wondering how I got here, but I can't wait to see where the story like continues at. Obviously, it's going to cut to like Peck here going somewhere in in the the middle of the pacific ocean just off off the coast of japan probably close to the philippines i, say, I need to rent a boat i need to rent a boat where but we know peck go? survived that explosion here? obviously he's right here are you sure there's nothing there what is it Do you have what about kravchenko i want to see him show back up maybe he's brutus that'd be sweet some old friends some old friends we're not your friend, guy. I'm not your buddy, pal. The story will continue. And I guess we're going to find out what happens next in BO6. Assuming we can figure out the Easter egg. But our final stats for our final Easter egg, we did it in 25 rounds. I actually got the whole Easter egg done. Every Easter egg done without looking anything up. Still don't know how to build the Crystal Axe, though. But uh, 1,400 eliminations, 464 crits, zero vibes in one down in the starting room is not bad. And now after doing all the Easter eggs, we're at 869,000 eliminations total in zombies. And I want to get this bad boy up to a million. So we'll be coming back to Cold War real soon.